Hey you guys and welcome to my channel Midnight Munchies and More. I am Sharice and today we're going to make a high protein version of the million dollar spaghetti trend on TikTok and like everywhere on the internet but we're going to make it low sodium as well. Now I'm in my room and not in the kitchen because <laughs> I already filmed this intro and I've been trying as you've been seeing probably in some of my videos I've been trying out new microphones and for some reason it didn't work. I don't know if I didn't have it on. I don't know if I didn't have it plugged in all the way. I don't know but I already look I already filmed this whole intro. It was great. It was perfect. I don't even know what I said. I can't even recreate it. So we're just, we're just going to wing it here. Okay. <laughs> the rest of the video was good. The sound was good. So that's great. We just have to do this intro. So listen, I'm starting off with the protein pasta. I wanted to get goodles, but for some reason I couldn't find the goodles. I don't know. I don't know where the goodles are. <laughs> so I couldn't find the goodles, but I got Baria protein penne and I'm going to already spoiler alert for you because I already filmed this video. <laughs> It's delicious. I bought an, I actually bought all this stuff again because I'm going to make it again. That's how delicious it was. Greg loved it. It made so much. We had so much leftovers for him to take to lunches the whole rest of the week. Cause especially cause you don't even have to eat as much cause like so much protein, which I uh, love, love that. So that's going to be one of our tricks is the burrito, which has zero sodium and it has a ton of protein. Another trick I have is I'm going to do like a cottage cheese Alfredo vibe. But listen, I wanted to tell you about cottage cheese and I'm actually a little bit glad that the intro didn't work all the way because now I can share another cottage cheese with you because in the original one, I used giant like Martin's giant brand of cottage cheese because they have a no salt added low fat variety. So they, it only has 45 milligrams of sodium for half of a cup. We're like, I know you guys have been living for the good culture cottage cheese, which is like, I mean, like I get it, <laughs> it's vibes, but it also has like over 300 milligrams of sodium for half of a cup. And that's just astronomical to me. And I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So this was Safeway's brand actually. Safeway Lucerne actually has the same 45 milligram low fat, no salt added, perfect cottage cheese. It's so good. Um, so yeah, so Giant Martin's brand and then Safeway brand all has the 45 milligrams. So that's going to be like super helpful for our blood pressure and everything. Okay. One of my other tricks to making this low sodium is using a low sodium spaghetti sauce. So let's talk low sodium spaghetti sauce. So in this actual video, I'm using Sprouts low sodium spaghetti sauce. I didn't have time to go to Sprouts. Okay. I didn't have time to go to Sprouts. So I just picked up Yo Mama's uh, low sodium spaghetti sauce. I don't think I've tried the basil one. I've tried the marinara and the, I think it's like a garlic, onion, something. I don't know. Um, so I haven't tried the basil one, so I'm excited to try this, but I wanted to show you this one because even though the sprouts has even less sodium in it, the Yo Mama's is more readily available. Like I've seen it at Target. I've seen it at my local grocery store. I've seen it at Walmart. Now, Prego has a lower sodium version, but let's just talk about the numbers really quick. So regular Prego, like a um, roasted garlic and onion variety is about like 470 milligrams for half of a cup. 470 milligrams of sodium for half of a cup of spaghetti sauce. Now let's talk in terms of how much sodium you should be getting per day. So if you already have high blood pressure, you're supposed to only get 1500 milligrams of sodium a day. And then the average person is supposed to get around 2300 milligrams of sodium a day. I try not to go over, I don't have high blood pressure. I'm not hypertensive, but I try not to go over 2000. I try not to even hit the 2300. That's a little aggressive for me. <laughs> um, because I don't want to be hypertensive. But so if you're trying to get, if you have high blood pressure and you're trying to get 1500 milligrams of sodium a day, 470 milligrams of sodium for half of a cup of spaghetti sauce just kind of isn't really the vibe, right? So the lower sodium Prego has 350 milligrams of sodium per half a cup, which albeit better than the regular, like at least you're making a harm reduction decision that's still a whole lot of sodium. That's 350 milligrams of sodium for half of a cup. And you know, you'd be eating more than half a cup. Listen, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe is that just me? Um, <laughs> but listen, this only has 125 milligrams of sodium per half of a cup. Now, if you're able to get to sprouts, if you're able to get out to sprouts, the original one that I used in this recipe that we're going to see here in a minute, I know I'll put the timestamp fast forward. It's fine. I understand. We're just talking numbers, but the sprouts marinara has 30 milligrams of sodium per half of a cup. Okay. What? I thought this was great with 125 until I got that sprouts and I was like 30 milligrams. Now I feel like I got to go to sprouts and just like stock up. So I, have, so I have them. So lower sodium options, yo mama's sprouts. Those are the best 
numbers that I have been able to find. If you really are in like a tight crunch and all you can find is a lower sodium prego, obviously choose that over the regular. You're still doing yourself justice by 120 milligrams less per half of a cup. But just be aware that when things say lower sodium, it doesn't always really mean lower sodium. And then you also have to watch out one of the things, one of the issues with the cottage cheese that I've been noticing too, is when you get like a lower fat, it's almost like with um, like salad dressings and stuff too. Like if you get a low fat or a reduced fat something, they're usually adding something else into it. So they're adding like more sodium or they're adding more sugar or there's something that they're adding into it. So you want to look at like the whole macros. This is not sponsored, but I just use a free version of my fitness pal, but that's been really helpful for me to really keep an eye on like my sodiums and my potassium. I've been really getting into the potassium because apparently you need like 3,500 milligrams of potassium a day for heart healthy life. And that is like so hard for me to get. I don't know about y'all, but that is a lot for me to try and get in a day. So I've been able to keep an eye on like my fats and my carbs and my sugars and all that in my fitness pal. I don't know, you just throwing that out there because it can seem very overwhelming, right? Especially when you're trying to like watch all these different things and you're trying to be healthy. It can be very overwhelming. And I just find that if I use my fitness pal, I don't necessarily focus too much on the calorie number, but I focus on like my nutrients and like how much protein I'm getting and stuff like that. It's been really helpful. The moral of the story is we're going to use some high protein stuff. We're going to use some low sodium stuff. And I'm already telling you that spoiler alert, it is delicious. And I'm going to make it again tonight is <laughs> how delicious it is. So it's totally worth me miss it, messing up my intro. Okay. Listen, I just, I don't want to talk about it. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. I messed up so many things. There's another video I messed up. I had to reshoot. I'm like, how many times you guys, what's happening? <laughs> make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, after this long spiel about products and things, let's just make this recipe. <laughs> I didn't have sound for this part either. So I'll just give it to you right here. And then we're going to put it on the stove and okay, got it. Now we need to cut our vegetables. So some of you asked how I keep my nails like looking so fresh, so funky fresh um, while I cook all the time. So here's my trick. I don't know what you guys have probably seen in some videos, but for things that require like a lot of moisture and washing my hands a lot, I like to just put gloves on <laughs> because all I use is Sally Hansen Insta Dry nail polish as like my color. And then I use uh, their miracle gel for the top coat. The last time I painted my nails, they lasted a good like two weeks. And really the only reason I did them again was because they grew out so much. That's just a little pro tip from me to you. Oh, I also have a pair of gloves. <laughs> I also have a pair of dish gloves for when I do the dishes. So that's another little trick. Also, I realized with that, I prefer using the gloves because then if anything gross in the sink, then I don't have to touch it directly. And life is great, grand and wonderful because sometimes, sometimes I'm not naming names, but sometimes people don't like to rinse their things off before they put them in the sink and it drives me bonkers. So we're just going to do a rough trap on this. Don't judge my knife skills. Okay. Just don't do it. I'm not a professional chef. I've never claimed to be. I'm a home chef. Okay cook, whatever the heck you want to call me. Yes, chef. <laughs> Have you seen the bear on Hulu? It's so good. I love it so much. You guys should totally watch it. I think it's an FX show maybe. Anyways, I think the third season just aired and it's fantastical, but I like a little big chunk in my spaghetti. So we're just gonna big chunk her up. This cutting board is from Amazon. I'll leave my affiliate link code below. I do make a commission just FYI. And also same with my ninja. I just got a new ninja. I'm so excited to show you because I really wanted a Vitamix. Okay. I wanted a Vitamix, but we ain't got Vitamix money, honey. So <laughs> we don't have Vitamix money. So I got a ninja, but it's like an upgrade from my last one that's been in storage, just like dying on me. And you can use any pepper for this, by the way, I'm just had these left over. A lot of people like green pepper, red pepper, but let's just do a little medley of what I had left in my refrigerator. But the Ninja was like a fraction of the cost, okay, of a Vitamix. Vitamix, the last time I looked at them, listen, it's been a while, but the last time I looked at them, they were like $600. That's crazy. Who has $600? Not I. Not I.
Okay, let's get... Let's get these sautéing a little bit here, y'all. Oh, I almost forgot some oil. Let me tell you how much these are a lifesaver for the cast iron and how much this is a lifesaver for olive oil. You guys, those oil bottles, man, they're so big. And, like, it's hard to be subtle with your oil and not use, like, a whole freaking gallon. While everything's cooking, let's make our Alfredo. So I'm gonna start with our cottage cheese like we talked about in the beginning. I'm gonna do about a cup of this. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm not being specific. It's not that serious. It's not that serious, you guys. All right. So we got a cup of that. And then we'll do about a, hmm. I was gonna say half a cup of Greek yogurt, but let's do like a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt. So like, you know what, let's do, let's just do the half. I don't know what we're doing here. Just do a, about a half a cup of the plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Great. And then we'll do a half a cup of Parmesan, which I'm getting everywhere. Oh my God, you guys, am I dumb? Don't answer that question, okay? Don't answer that question. And then I'm going to do about a tablespoon of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, but bitch, I'm lazy, okay? This is supposed to be an easy weeknight dinner. You feel me? I almost forgot. I'm also going to do about a tablespoon of cornstarch as well. All right. And then we're just going to twist it on and give her a blend. But I'm going to... Oh, also what I love about this is if you... I don't know if... Can you hear that? It like suctions like sections on there so you can't move it so when the blender goes wild like you're not gonna lose everything click it in turn it on and then I'm gonna save you I'm gonna save you the sound while we're at it let's go ahead and start preheating this oven to like a 375 got some spices you guys I love these this came in a set they came in a set with little ones and big ones and I've been using to like, so I can easily just grab some spices. I have a bigger, like bigger silver one that I actually, if you saw my Target haul video that I put all my protein snacks and stuff in and that has all the rest of my spices. Let me get some gloves on. 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 Ooh, boiling is watering. <laughs> Water is boiling. So let's put, how long does this say? Eight to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and pop her in there. I used to not salt my water and I was fine. And then I started salting my water because I started being like professional chef vibe. And I realized that like professional chefs are literally just trying to get you to go to the restaurant. So they put things in the food that tastes good and what tastes good, salt, fat, and sugar. So I um, stopped putting salt in my water because then all of a sudden, next thing you know, my husband has high blood pressure and I don't wanna do that. Listen, what time is it? It's 1.46. Don't let me forget to check on those noodles. Okay. Chefs are not nutritionists. Chefs are not dietitians. Chefs aren't here to make you healthy, okay? They're here to make food taste good. And I just want everybody to keep that in mind because I feel like, like even I used to think, oh, some ground turkey. Even I used to, excuse me, excuse me, but like, even I used to think like, oh, if I go to like a local restaurant instead of, you know, McDonald's or something that like everything would be fine. No, it's just as bad. Also, I like this meat smasher thing. I used to think it was stupid, but now I think it's cool. So to this meat, we're going to add some of my favorite Ellie's Best Vital 7 um, organic mushroom powder. I will leave that link below, you guys. Superfoods, hello. So we're going to do, what is this? I don't even know what this measurement is. I think we're going to do about a teaspoon of that. I literally am only measuring this one because it comes in a bag and not like this. Let me show you how I actually measure. So I'm also going to add some garlic powder. And I just like do it till it feels good. So since I'm not adding salt to this, you need to be very generous with your seasonings. Like don't hesitate, okay? I know it seems like a lot. I promise you it is not a lot, okay? Some black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. Come on, baby, get on out of there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do some paprika. And you know what? I got this black garlic from Trader Joe's. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but we're just gonna put some of that in there too, okay? Might as well. Because basically we're seasoning our sauce a little bit as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian. A little Italian seasoning, a little extra pump, a little extra kick. And we're gonna go back in here with our meat masher. All right, let's put our, oh yeah. Let's put our marinara. Ooh, I made it a little. I should use the bigger pan. I need a bigger cast iron, okay? I need a bigger cast iron. Oh God, it smells so good already. All right, we'll give her a little stir action. Do you guys like this kind of video? Do we like, do we like this? Do we, do we like going a little old school? Listen, I had some time. I had the kitchen to myself a little bit so I could do a little old school action. Do we like it? Do we miss it? And yes, I'm keeping all of those juices in there. I want those juices. I want them and I need them. I mean, if this doesn't look like the best bolognese. Woo, baby. I'm gonna let that warm up a little bit, reduce down a little bit. Now we assemble. So I've seen some people just put the pasta in the bottom and then put this, um, the bolognese on top. But I've also seen people layer kind of lasagna vibes. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hi, future editing Sharice here that forgot to show you that I mixed the Ninja mixture into the noodles. So I also added another extra cup of blended cottage cheese with about half a cup of plain unsweetened almond milk because the noodles yielded way more than I expected them to. And yes, they are penne and not spaghetti noodles because, well, penne is brat. You feel me? I sprayed the bottom of this pan. I don't really know why. Some people said to do that. When I make stuff like this, I don't really do that. But that's what I did. Okay. So I'm going to do a little. Let me do a little bit more. Let me do a little bit more. A little layer here. And I'm just going to double dip with some bolognese. Some bolognese. Are you guys watching the Olympics? God, I've been... I've been really getting into the all of the women's sports. Like, listen, the women's rugby. Oh my God, national treasure. All right, let me get one more. Let me just get like one more. Oh my God, it smells so good. Can you see, is this steaming up? Is this steaming up my camera? Oh no, we're okay, we're okay. You know, I think I'm actually gonna get a little crazy. I was only gonna do part of this big because it has so much sodium, but since, we did such a fantastic job. Oh my God, did I get? Oh my God, I got finally shredded. No! Okay, well, no, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm so upset. All right, so I hate finely shredded anything, any cheese, because really you should shred your cheese, like you should homemade shred your cheese, okay? But worst case, like I thought I got the thick cut. Dang, worst case, if you get the thick cut, it's fine. Um, this isn't going to melt very well because it's finely shredded. So that's sad, but that's okay. We'll survive. You know what I mean? Life will go on. So now we got that cheese. I'm going to add the rest of my noodles and try and do it so you can see it, even though I need to see it. And it's a tricky situation. Woo, did we do it? I did it. I did it. Right, now we're just gonna spread her around. I should have used a bigger pan. Holy sheesh. This is gonna serve like eight people. So that's pretty fantastic because the little amount of sodium that we did do amongst like eight people, y'all. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys can't even see that I did it opposite. Shoot. Oh shoot. Let me do it this way. Oh shoot. Oh my God, cast irons are so heavy, I can't spread it a little bit. Oh my God, this is out of hand. This is out of hand, you guys, and I'm living. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this on a cookie sheet because I am scared this might overflow. The rest of my finely shredded mozzarella. Oh, I'm so sad. This is gonna look so stupid. But I'm putting all the cheese on it. I don't even care. I have all the sodiums left for the cheese, okay? Now let's put it in the oven. 
Let me actually, let me get a pan. Let's not be stupid here, folks. Now everything's already cooked, so it doesn't need too long. Ooh, you guys, look at how beautiful. Let's, let's just, let's dig in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to get her everywhere. Look at the steam. Oh, yes. Did you hear that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Beautiful. I'm living. You guys, I'm so excited to try. It's still so hot and steamy and like cheese pulley. And listen, we did a good job with that finely shredded. Even though we had to do finely shredded, we did a good job. If you broil, like if you make something with cheese on the top and it's like just kind of melty, but it doesn't have that like crispy brown bits, put it on broil for like just a couple minutes. It goes quick. You want to stay there and stare at it because it will go quick. It takes like 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your broil to get it like nice and toasty and brown on top. And that is how I got my finely shredded to look good. Oh my God, we're so steamy. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, let's try. Mmm. Okay. The protein noodles are actually really good. They just taste like regular noodles to me. The ground turkey is nicely seasoned. The Alfredo mixed with the marinara, so good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, million dollar spaghetti. Pop off. Okay. High protein, low sodium. I mean, you really can't get much better than that. I still see some Alfredo in there. Listen, when I went to school in Towson, you had like the regular dining halls, but then you had, you could use your card and like some of the fancier eating places. There was this one place that you could get like noodles. So they already had like noodles made and they already had sauces made. And that's how I found about penne. Cause I was just like, I didn't know much about anything. I just, all I knew was like regular spaghetti noodles and like angel hair and one macaroni. And then my friend was like, oh, get the penne. And I was like, bitch, what? And then they were like, no, listen, here's what you do. You mix the Alfredo with the red sauce. And I was like, you're crazy. And then they were like, it's so good. So I did and I tried it. And that's what this is, except it's like more meaty and like hearty and proteiny. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is real good. I tried to make this as close to the regular million dollar spaghetti. Like I tried not to veer away from it too, too much, but I think next time I would totally add like some broccoli and like definitely more vegetables. Like it's good, but I would have more vegetables, I think. But this is a 10 out of 10. Mm. A full written recipe as usual will be linked below, midnightmunchiesandmore.com. I'll also again add some of my affiliate links for some of the stuff that I used today. And I hope you guys had a good time. Let me know, have you had the million dollar spaghetti? Will you try this? What do you think? Let me know below. And I love you so much. Like, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is my first, like, like I've done some shorts, like TikToks and stuff um, after my hospital visit, which like <laughs> hospital visit, Jesus. I was in there for like two weeks, um, <laughs> which if you haven't seen that story time, go check out that video. But this is like my first real video back since being in the hospital and like double lung infection and all of that for like months and months and like i'm still not 100 percent. you can still tell them like my breathing and stuff but i'm getting there and i just it feels good it feels good so really thank you guys for being here and i'll get to you next time